Hi and welcome back to the third part of this series. I started by creating an empty Django project and configured it. In the previous part I created a core app for SCMIL and added some base templates. In this video I will create the views and templates we need to make it possible to sign up and to log in. I will start with the sign up view. So open up views.py inside the core app folder. First I need to import a few new Django methods in the top. From django.contrib.auth import login, which is the login method. From django.contrib.auth.forms import user creation form, because Django has a user creation built-in form. Also need to import one more shortcut called redirect. And this is used to redirect the user after sign up and login. Now I have all the functionality from Django I need. So below the front page view, I create a new one for the sign up. Def sign up. Also want to pass in the request parameter here. First, I want to check if the request method is post. If request method equals post. Then I create an instance of form, user creation form, and pass in the whole request. Below here, I can check if the form is valid. And if the form is valid, I create the new user by saying user equal form dot save. Below here, I log in the user, passing in the request and the user we just created. Then I redirect the user to the front page like that. Or we can say front page to redirect to the front page view. Below here I want to, no sorry, below here I create the form instance if the method is get user creation form and that's just empty like this. Then I do a return, render, pass in the request, the template which is core slash sign up dot html and then I need to pass in the form. I do this by creating a dictionary form form. So now the template will get the form if it's post or if it's get. Then we can save. I'm going to create the template. I create a new file called signup.html. This is in the same folder as front page and base. I can copy all of this, paste it here and just remove this. Inside here I want a container div plus container. This is a class from Bulma. I want the title h1, give it a class of title, sign up. Below the title I want to add the form, form method post, and the action can be just dot, and that will point to the view we are on. So here I need to add something called a CSRF token. This will prevent submissions from other pages. Below here, I want to generate the form by saying form.sp, so it will be generated as paragraphs, and add the submit button below. Button is primary, type submit, sign up, and save. The last thing we need to do is to import the sign up view to the URLs. So go to sknil slash urls.py and import sign up here. Sorry, sign up. Then here we can say path sign up. Now we pass in the view we created, give the name of sign up. Everything here should be ready. So let's go to base.html and make sure the sign up button in the menu points to the correct page. Let's go to base.html, href, 
URL sign up and close it. URL is a template function from Django. When I pass in sign up as a parameter, Django will generate a route to that view which will be slash sign up slash. I'll now go to the browser to test this out. Refresh. If I click here, we should see a sign up form. This is Django's default form with all the helper information we need. It doesn't look good, but we will fix that later. We can fill in some detail to test this. Code at code.com and the password. So it has to be at least eight character long, not just numbers and so on. We can make this a lot less safe, but it's nice to just have it the way it is. Sign up. Now we got redirected to the front page and that means it's working. Next I want to make it possible to log in. Django has default functionality for this and I, that's what I intend to use. I'll go back to urls.py and import some new methods in the top. From django.contrib.auth import views. So we import the views from here and below here we can say path login slash views dot login view dot s view template name equals core slash login dot html and then the name which is login looks a little bit different than the rest but the structure is still the same. First we pass in the route, then the view and then the name. This is a class based view from Django. Now I need to create a template for the login. So inside the same folder as the other files create a new one called login.html. We can copy a little bit from here again from the sign up HTML and paste it. Replace this with login and the same down here. Login and save. It looks almost identical to the sign up view. Before I test this, I want to add some constants to the settings.py file. I want to add login URL. Login, this is the name of the view and this is where you will be redirected if you try to visit a site without being authenticated. Also need a login redirect URL. Front page, you will be redirected to the front page when we are logged in. And I want to add a logout redirect URL front page. So we will be redirected to the front page too when we are logged out. Nice. Now I just need to change the base.html file so the login button in the menu points to the correct route. Forgot to save this. And go back to base.html and add URL login. I noticed that I, I forgot to add the S up here in the previous video, so we can save it and check it out. Now the button buttons looks a little bit better. If I click login, we will see a default login form from Django. Fill in the details from the sign up form and hit login. So code at code.com and the password. And then I was redirected to the front page, which means that it's working too. Let's make a little change to the menu so that when you're logged in, you will see a logout button instead of these two buttons. So let's go back to the base.html file again. And here we can test if request.user is authenticated else we will show this these two 
and diff. So in here we add the logout button URL logout. I will create this very soon. Class button is danger, so it's red. Log out and save. So now we need to add a logout view to urls.py. Django also has a default view for this path log out views dot log out view name equals log out so we don't need to pass in a template we can just leave it as this and save we can go back to the browser now to test I probably did something wrong path Uh, of course, I forgot to add S view. Going to stop the server and start it again. Then it looks okay. Refresh. We now see a logout button. If I click it, I was redirected to the front page, and we will see the sign up and login button again. It's time to wrap up for now. In the next part, I'm going to start building the basic dashboard for Skinel. If you want notification when the next part is published, you can subscribe to my channel and remember to click the bell.